welcome everybody to another edition of Star Made News and today I'm happy to announce a whole bunch of new stuff and we're going to get started with of course big big news uh, later on but first we're going to get started with the website update so we're going to go through all of this won't take too long um, beautiful uh, developments here so I'm going to read this out for you guys Basically, this is a post by Duke of Realms on Friday the uh, 28th of March, which is approximately uh, three days ago. Uh, this is a website update on the new forums. So, if you don't know Duke of Realms, he is the business development manager and forum lead for StarMade. For the past six months, he's been working on creating and providing a new forum for the StarMade community, along with the help from the forum team, Miles uh, WebTM, main website lead. He's here to say that the website and forums are near. In this post, he's going to focus mainly on forums, hub for the community, and along the way you'll see some snippets of the main website here and there. So then, um, obviously you need to come to star-made.org slash news to check out all of these in detail, but effectively I'm going to be skimming over this just so that we don't spend half an hour reading all of the information. Effectively we're going to have a new forum home, it's going to have many new features, nice and up to date. Um, I, I think it's a great, uh, great thing myself, <laughs> but then I would say that. Um, and then further down, as you can see, there's a much more sort of modern look to it. Um, I think it's a good step forward. And like I say, uh, it's really going to help us out. Um, if you want all the information on that new website, then do make sure to go and check that out. So, um, with that being said, we're going to move down the post here. As you can see, there's a nice little feature. If you look up the uh, name of the person and they're actually streaming on Twitch, it will show that in your information there, which is very nice. There'll be new user control panels, which will give you access to the search bar. It's going to be a lot easier to use. Uh, further on, we've got the actual forums. So the forums are going to look much more up to date. It's going to be very, 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 I think, I think it's very in keeping with the current theme. So it's really nice. I'm real hyped about everyone getting onto this new system because I've been sort of skimming in, having them checking it out, see it as it's been moving along, and uh, it's coming in leaps and bounds. There is a community content page, okay, which will be a hub for all ships, space stations, texture packs, skins, and mods. Um, under one page, you can find all this content easily and efficiently. The main content page shows the latest content updates. Uh, newest content, popular content, most downloaded, all go into different categories where you can locate the ship, mod, texture pack, etc. Each category has the latest updates, newest content, so you can see what's been updated, added, popular, and so on in each category. There's also a search for option, um, and so you can see that in the bottom of the image. The most active authors box, which displays users who have updated and uploaded the most content this month. So all of the content for your communities can be added nice and easily, just upload with a few clicks and you can provide an external download link if the file is too large. So that's that, it's looking really nice. Um, also you can click on the uh, community content module which will provide a tab on a user profile allowing you to see the content that they have submitted. So uh, also you'll get content downloads, uh, content downloads last updated and how many votes. So there's the user profile page right there and as you can see community content under here people have always said they wanted to see all the ships uploaded by a particular person and that will be possible with this new system so it's really nice as for the star made streams you can actually click on the link straight to the stream if they're live it'll say they're live so it's very nice you can even watch in the site by the looks of things so uh yeah this is going to be really good a step forward for integrating twitch with the uh, our official website um, moderation rules, you can report, as it's showing here in this little picture, three warning, po three warning points and you get a permanent ban. So obviously uh, every, every forum has rules, we all know what they are. So um, You can check them out though of course, they are listed on the website. And for the search, here we are. So this is a modern search, you'll be able to keywords, member and then a date. And obviously by forum, so there you go, very good. Uh, moving down, we've got automatic resizing, so all images that you put in should be automatically clipped to the uh, size of the window, so they scale, which is really nice. So you won't get things breaking out of the uh, <coughs> style of the site there, like the last one. And so here are the new categories. So we've got the Star Made Portal, 
news, competition, suggestions, StarMade community, general discussion, servers, factions, fan art, StarMade creations, mods, and then a sub, releases, work in progress, request for ideas and mods, um, and then obviously texture packs, skins, and then we have StarMade support, game support, site support, and then registry slash account support. Uh, there's more information. It runs on Zen Foro, just the forums. Uh, the forums are separate from the way main website, but visually connected through the main website navbar. Forum specific rules, we no longer solely rely on EULA to enforce moderation. So there are rules which you can check out. Uh, bans on the forums are separate from the main website. Uh, forums login is connected to the main website, so users register the main website and use that login information to log into the forums. Other features, you can watch threads, which means you'll be notified when there's a new post. In the search, you can uh, specify the search for look for newer than certain date. The date is put in by calendar. Uh, the planned features, multiple authors, content roles in community content, so more than one person can update content with varying permissions. A badge system, badges will be awarded to users who win community competitions or some sort of recognition in the community. Stats for ships and contents in the community content module, so users can see stats on the side, manual entry. So always people want things like that, and if you want to do that, you can do that, which is great. Special thanks to Mike from Ordentio Design for creating the beautiful website theme, and to all those forum testers who have been helping track down and squash all those pesky bugs. You guys are the best. So, I hope you will all enjoy the new website as much as Duke of Realms. It's taken him over six months to get there. And we're finally nearing release. So, uh, that's the end of that post there. Get a bit of interference on my phone, sorry about that. So then now we get to move on to the next little feature, which is the charity live stream. So I'm just going to scroll up. So here it is. It's the Mushroom Fleet Charity Livestream, which will be run by Ryben on the 5th of April. Uh, I'm going to play that video for you now. Um, obviously, the link will be in the description. So we're going to jump in there and zoom in on it.
back to the main page and close that window. So yeah, we're doing this live stream. It is going to be an epic event with all of your favorites are going to be present. We're going to be running all these little mini games, fights, God knows. I don't want to spoil it, so yeah, be there and uh, or be square. So I'm going to move straight on to the next segment, which will be <coughs> the new news, which is pretty, pretty epic. So first of all, news worth waiting for. This came in on uh, April the 1st and Cal Beery says, it's been just over two weeks since the last patch was released. Everyone has been speculating about what will be in the next patch and it's an exciting time for all. So I felt it was time to announce something. We've been told that our planets were falling a bit flat. So to boost their popularity, we have ensured that they are using all three dimensions and players will be able to build on them just as before. Calbiri. Which of course was a little ambiguous. And so now we move on to the reveal, which is of course, new planets. Now, I don't know about you, but I kind of exploded when I saw this video. And I am going to play it for you guys, hopefully with a little bit louder audio this time. Um, but let's just read this. So, schema posts today. Reversed April Fools. The new planets are real. Hello players. First of all, I'm sorry if that joke caused any annoyance or frustration. We basically tried to do an April Fool's joke without lying by telling the truth in a very odd way. Calberry acted on my behalf. I told him to make a news post about the new planes as fishy as possible, and he did just the right amount of ambiguity. We are never against round planets, we just had to wait until the right concept came along. Here are the facts. New planets are in fact coming. They are dodecahedrons. After I saw an excellent forum post on the forum by right sure i was sold on the concept it may have been an idea that has been pointed out by other people thanks for suggesting but he did an amazing job to list the pros and cons in a very impartial and logical way the only problem that was really hard to solve was the seam between planet segments the solutions for that in the post weren't fitting enough for the game developing uh, extra exceptions for the seams would bring a lot of problems with it since the concept itself was brilliantly simple I didn't want to have a complex solution for one little detail, so the solution is just to overlap the blocks, which has zero impact in performance and even does look cool. The core of the planet will most likely be liquid, and entering it will have similar effects as going into a sun. The core will have a high number of regenerating hit points, but there may be uh, certain weapons that are only effective against plan planet cores. Cough. Death Star cough. <laughs> Blowing up a planet will result in the segment blowing off the surface. The planets will rotate just like they do now, and a spherical atmosphere has already been implemented. So the gravity already works, but there are still some issues to handle. Also there will be some other features already implemented that I will announce soon. The first exclusive look at the test build will probably be at the charity stream. But enough of the explanation, here is the video showing it. If you can't see the video in the launcher, only when going on the site. So is and I think we're just going to get that queued up for everybody so
there you have it that is basically the uh, <laughs> that is a brilliant little video thanks so much schema for uploading that today um, can't wait to get started building on those I got one more thing to show you before the end of the news today and that is the little promotional video kind of thing little little montage that I put together recently um, and I'm gonna go over to that for you right now episode 764 uh, the audio is by Kenji Run and he let us use his tracks for this new project so uh, thanks again for watching the news and like I say uh, here is that video for you and after that that will be the end so thanks again for watching and I will see you all next time Thank you.